Hidno 6 is a popular note-taking app that offers a range of features to help you stay organized and productive. In this tutorial, we'll take a deep dive into the various functionalities of GoodNote 6, starting from basic navigation to more advanced features like hyperlinks, tools, modes, and more. The app is free for up to three notebooks, but I'll leave a link to their premium pricing in the description. Under this video, you'll see timestamps if you want to skip to any particular part of the video. Let's get started. When you create a new notebook in GoodNotes, you can customize the template by choosing the color of the page and layout, as well as the cover. GoodNotes offers pre-designed covers or lets you choose a solid color. You can even import your own images as covers for a personalized touch. To navigate in GoodNotes, you can swipe left or right to change the pages. You can click the four squares in the top left corner of the app to see a page preview. Here you can select and hold pages and move them to a different location. You can also easily copy pages by selecting them and clicking copy. To paste, click on the plus sign and select paste pages. The pages will be added after the page you're on. To remove, I'll go back to the page preview. If you're using a hyperlinked file like this digital planner, Make sure you are in viewing mode to be able to click on the links. Click on the pencil above the toolbar. Now you can freely access any link. To start writing again, you need to go back to writing mode by doing the same thing. The first tool in the toolbar is the pencil. I assume this is what you'll be using most. You can create a custom palette and add it to the toolbar. Select from presets, custom, or view history of your previously used colors. To add a new color to the toolbar, choose a color you want and click on it. Apart from this, you can also customize stroke settings. Choose between solid, dashed, or dotted and adjust the thickness. Here is a swatch to see what they look like. Additionally, there are three types of brushes, brush pen, ball pen, and fountain pen. I personally stick to the ball pen because it makes my handwriting look the neatest. Now let's check out the eraser. You can view the three preset sizes in the toolbar. To view additional settings, click on the eraser symbol again. You'll see that you have three options, precision eraser, standard or stroke. It really depends on what kind of notes you're taking or if you're sketching. I mostly use the stroke eraser because it's the quickest. There are also other settings, like you're able to delete highlighter only. The highlighter has the same color system like the pencil tool, but the color presets are separate from the pencil. The highlighter always goes behind the text to make it stand out. If you want, you can turn on draw in a straight line and let's see what that looks like. This tool is really useful because you can effectively emphasize important information in your notes, making them easier to review and learn from. The shape tool can be adjusted so that you can hold to straighten lines, snap to other shapes, and fill the color with a highlighter. The lasso tool helps you select any writing or images on the page. You can pick and choose what you want the lasso tool to work on in the settings. The pencil tool has the same function to draw and hold. Make sure to enable it if you are sketching a lot or making diagrams. The Elements tool holds all of your stickers, drawing, diagrams, and formulas. You can save anything as an element. You'll see I have a really large collection of mostly stickers. To add an element to a page, simply tap on one and resize it. To add something as an element, select it with the lasso tool and tap, then click Add as Element. And to add a new collection, scroll to the end and click on the plus sign. The text tool allows you to use the keyboard to add text. You can save a font preset by clicking on this button and select save as default. The text tool is also where you use the scribble feature to turn on your handwriting into a font if you'd like. I use a neat handwriting font called Studious. I will leave a link in the description. The scribble feature can be enabled by going to your Apple Pencil settings. Make sure this is turned on and you can even give it a try to see if you like it. The image tool allows you to insert any photo from your gallery. Honorable mentions go to laser pointer tool and the ruler that you can use for more precision when sketching. You can hide the ruler by tapping on it and clicking hide. 
There's also a zoom window that's excellent for students because it allows you to take neater notes by being zoomed in and it goes to the next line automatically. I showed you viewing mode but there's also a text mode if you want to type with a keyboard on a blank page. And you can also record your lectures or anything else that you can replay later on when reviewing the notes you took. Here are some tips if you want to improve your workflow. To undo, you can double tap with two fingers, or if you want to redo, tap with three fingers. You can also tap the pencil twice to go back to the previous tool you used. Another great tip is to enable auto deselect in eraser tool settings. This way you can seamlessly keep writing after removing an error you made. Layering good notes used to be really annoying because we weren't able to adjust the position. Now we can move things to the front or back, which is really helpful, especially when using lots of stickers. To move things, we use the lasso tool. So if I only wanted to move this heart doodle, I need to disable images in the lasso tool options. To put a sticker on top, select with the lasso, tap and click arrange. Now I'll show you the best two ways to add stickers in bulk to GoodNotes, using the Elements tool. Stickers you downloaded or purchased usually come as PNG files. If you purchase the sticker pack and receive the folder with all of the images, here's how to add them. In the split screen on your iPad, open the Files app and locate the folder with the files, either on your iPad or in any of the cloud services. Then select all of the files and drag and drop them into the new collection window in GoodNotes. If you received an Elements collection file, you can locate it and open it in GoodNotes. Wait for the stickers to load and save the collection. To customize your experience, you can change the navigation direction to vertical instead of horizontal by going to the settings. Tap on the three dots in the top right corner and go to the scrolling direction. You can also select the location of the toolbar by going to Document Editing. This allows you to switch from top to bottom. Additionally, you can fully customize the toolbar by removing the tools you don't use, or you can change their order. In the GoodNotes Documents library, I recommend organizing your files into folders. GoodNotes 6 allows us to visually customize these folders as well. You can choose the color of each folder as well as the icon to represent it. GoodNotes allows you to search all of your documents, including handwriting. Simply search for a keyword and you'll see all instances of it in your file or in your entire library. You can bookmark pages to create an outline. This is more useful for note-taking since digital planners are already organized into sections. GoodNotes 6 offers some great features for note-taking and digital planning. With a range of tools, customization options, and advanced features, it provides a versatile platform for creativity and organization. Whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone who loves to stay organized, GoodNotes 6 can significantly enhance your productivity and workflow. That's all for this video. The links to my planner and other digital stationery is in the description. See you next time!